Okay, our penultimate topic for physics is topic G, wireless signals. Now this one is going to be really short and sweet, so we may get through this in under five minutes. Right, um, so things that we need to know is about how signals get sent. So radio waves um, get sent by them being reflected and refracted, refracted, sorry, off the ionosphere. So the ionosphere is just a part of the atmosphere that's got a bit of charge filled with ions, which are charged particles, which is why it's called the ionosphere. And this is useful because it means we can make the radio waves travel further. So for instance, I can send my radio wave up, hits the ionosphere, gets reflected back to my receiver. Now, if I have two radio transmitters that are geographically very close to each other, then there is potential for there to be interference. They could, um, you know, the signals could mix up with each other and I could end up with at what I receive at the end being jumbled. So to stop that from happening, what we do is we send the two signals at different frequencies. So that means that they are going to look very different and it's easier to separate them out and they're also not going to interfere with each other as well. But we'd still do the same thing, we'd reflect them off the ionosphere. And that's um, why like when you're tuning your radio stations on your car radio, you tune to a specific frequency so you can pick out the radio station that you actually want. So this brings us to uh, DAB, so those are digital radios versus analog radios. So the advantages of DAB is that you can have more stations, because uh, it's easier to separate them out, and you get less interference between stations. The disadvantages of DAB is that you can get poorer audio quality, so um, sometimes you either get it or you don't really, as we talked about with digital signals. And also there's less coverage with DAB at the minute. It doesn't cover as much of the countryside as uh, analog radio does. It's a little harder to send the DAB as far. Um, so yeah, that's it. And in less than three minutes, you're gonna love that one. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to know really. A lot of it we've covered already. It just goes over a lot of the things about digital and analog that we've already talked about. So using your knowledge that you've got so far, you should be absolutely fine with this topic. But remember, if you do have any questions, ask me when you see me.